Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. And once again, I want to uh, stress out here to people that have Windows 7. You know, I get a lot of posts, people saying, yeah, they just want to make money because, you know, it's 130 bucks to get Windows 10. And, well, the majority of you guys probably have free upgrades because you can still upgrade for free. So um, here is the way that you can check that out. If you have a product key on your computer, or if you have a boxed version of Windows 7, there's a product key. Check that out and try it. Or else, there's another way also that you can actually check it out. So I'll post a link to this page in the description below the video. But for most of you, the upgrade to Windows 10 will be free. What you got to do is go here and click Download Tool Now. This is the Media Creation Tool. It's going to download on your PC. And once it's downloaded, what you will do is execute the media creation tool and follow the instructions. For Windows 7 users, if you want to keep your files and your programs, what you're going to choose in here is, of course, the upgrade process. So basically, you'll see this Windows 10 setup uh, you know, happening. It's going to do what it's saying here, getting a few things ready. It's going to basically check your computer a little bit, see if everything is all right. And once that check, that general check of your PC, that general scan, if you want, of uh, your Windows version, uh, you'll have, of course, to accept the agreement. And here you will have several options. The option that I um, will actually tell everybody to use is the upgrade option. So from your within your Windows 7 install, when you get to this option, you will have the possibility to upgrade or create a, a, a media, uh, an installation media like a DVD or a, a thumb drive or a USB key if you want. So what I would say is click upgrade this PC now and click next. Follow the instructions. Now, if it has for a product key, what you could try is if you have a Windows 7 product key, just insert that product key. Just write down that product key in the product key box that they're going to ask. If it continues without any other questions, that product key is valid and you will actually have an upgrade to Windows 10. You'll have it for free. It might take several hours on some PC, so be patient because it could be a very long process for some older machines, but it will eventually be on Windows 10. If you enter the product key and it doesn't actually work, what you could do is on the same page that you can enter that product key, you can ignore the product key or say not now and continue the process. Sometimes the product key will not be accepted, but you upgrade and once it's installed, well, you're okay and you'll be on Windows 10 and it's gonna be activated. So for the majority of you guys, this still works. I get people almost every week saying, yeah, you know, I did it and uh, I've upgraded for free and it's activated and everything's fine. So that is the way you can actually do it. Of course, you can also, if you want, and you have, once again, a valid product key for Windows 7, create the installation media. What that does when you create an installation media is you'll be prompted the version of Windows 10. It knows by the version of Windows you have which version to choose. So just let it choose what's recommended because it's going to choose the right option for you. And then click, of course, Next. Here, you'll be able to do a USB flash drive or a image. An image or an ISO is what you can actually write to a DVD later if you want. So that's how it works. And for, like I said, the majority of you out there, that upgrade process will be free and work well to uh, get a free version of Windows 10. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.